What is up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am here to bring you the very first episode of a brand new campaign. And so a few weeks ago, I mean in fact we had a, a, a vote on which Total War would be the next two, would be the next one I would play when whichever my campaigns finished first. And the winner of that vote, as you can see, was Napoleon Total War. So I've gone in and installed Darth Mod. Uh, took, a bit, took a few tries because I had some audio problems, so you know I had no audio. And all I did was just delete, you know, uninstall Napoleon, uninstall Darth Maul, delete them all, then re-download and reinstall, and it seems to have fixed it. Um, I tried deleting scripts and stuff, but that just got... didn't really do anything. So let's crack on, and the faction that, that won the vote, uh, it became a penalty shootout between Prussia... not Prussia, sorry, France and Great Britain, and Great Britain won. So I am going to be playing as Great Britain. Um, difficulty hard, hard. Well, I can have it set to historical mode, because it means I still have to hold uh, 20 regions, including a few specific ones. But mainly what it means I can do is I can do some um, liberation of Belgium and Denmark and a few of the German states. Well, actually, see, I've not made my mind up actually while I'm just recording this. Or do I do world domination try to go for 60 territories, but I don't know... Actually, you know what? I'll do world domination and do 60 territories, because that way I'll get, I, sh I should be able to get a good scrap with all of the major factions. So, there we go. Change my opinion on the fly, and I'm not, not even going to start the recording again, because I'm not a professional. Um, yeah, so hard, hard. World Dom, 60 regions. Um, late December 1812. So let's crack on. Um, so I have tried... Okay, let's cancel this. So I have tried to record a, a, um, my first section of this before, and my plan was to try and do um, how Wellington did it previously. So the idea is, is that I would work my way up Spain and go in through France in that direction. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but it took gosh darn forever to do, to build up my navy to take control, and I had no battles for the first part. So... What I'm going to do for this part is I'm going to gather my force under Arthur Wellesley and land him on the Batavian Republic and liberate this to a friendly territory. Um, I wanted uh, France to push east. They declined to do so. Actually, you know, they didn't decline to do so, but I basically I want France to become quite powerful and start threatening because um, France, Napoleon's my ultimate bad guy. So what I'm going to do actually is gather my navies in their respective ports. First thing I want to do is upgrade uh, Portsmouth to a dry dock because I want to start recruiting um, first rates and second rate ships of the line. So there goes my 106 gun first rate, a couple of unique ships like HMS Hibernia and HMS Victory of course. Because um, I'm Britain and I want to rule the waves. So here is Nelson and there is the French fleet that I'm supposed to rendezvous with and attack and I probably will. Um, but one thing I want to do first is... So let's just break off one of my merchantmen to occupy this trade spot. Let's set my commercial ports to both build the merchantmen and try and keep that rolling per turn to send them off to these trade nodes and eventually to spread them down the west coast. Let's get my gentleman in Oxford and have him work on national debt. Uh, minus upkeep for my army is pretty handy. And plus five per town wealth in all my regions is a pretty solid baseline, baseline upgrade to get. So then let's get my armies down here. So John Moore, he can garrison Birmingham. Let's get my six pounder and Highland foot in position. Let's get my light foot and line infantry from Cardiff. And then let's run a unit of fencibles. Well, let's get my fencibles to garrison Bristol for now. Well, it'll take them a few turns to get there, but anyway. Then what to do with the rest of my money? First, let's get my London forces to join Arthur Wellesley. Back him up with Paul to these units. So let's go. We're well, not going for any infantry yet. Let's go for roads. Basic economic infrastructure upgrades across the board, because right now everyone is, well, Ireland is shrinking, Edinburgh is shrinking, Cardiff is shrinking, and London is growing. So we need to reverse that, which roads and roads and alignment will help. So you've got John Moore and then Michael Stowell. You can stay in London. To be honest, I might get John Moore. So John Moore to garrison Cardiff. I need to upgrade some of these areas that have no buildings in, upgrade some mines for some good income. But let's take... 
Well, firstly, actually, what I might do is take this Diddy Navy over here, because as you can see, there will be a Spanish Navy ship. Or um, trade ships in position. So just do a quick auto resolve there. Ah, oh, didn't. Oh, I need to chase them down. There they are. Let's do a nice auto resolve to sink their fleet. Get them back to Portsmouth. And then let's steal one of these merchantmen to go down here and steal the spot. Good. So let's take Horatio Nelson and... Oh, Travis, don't want to go down here. Because there is another Spanish Navy there. Hmm. I'm, hmm. I'm, I'm reluctant to <laughs> to go for it. I know, I know I've got Nelson. I know he's absolutely brilliant. But you know how... Um, bad I am at naval battles, so I think they might hold off. They might just stay there and hold position to make sure they don't break out towards my territory. Trait gained. Oh, there's for my admiral fights. So diplomacy. Russia, let's trade because we're all scared of France. Russia, probably trade. Yes. Kingdom of Portugal, definitely trade, because you are afraid of Spain. Mecklenburg, shall we trade, because you're in a your German state as well. Good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so this comes to the qu sticky question of Gibraltar. Um, well, it, it is tempting, very tempting, for me to actually take this army under Wellington and send him down here um, to fight in Gibraltar, but I'd very much need to stick on the recruitment of everything quickly because Spain oh, Spain does like to send large armies down towards Gibraltar like trying to actually garrison it just seems a recipe for disaster because last time I last time I played it they had about three full stacks they sent to capture Gibraltar and I'm like nah can't really afford that right now uh, ministers you're not terrible you're reducing recruitment costs which is okay Gamble. Nope. Still George the Third. <laughs> Minus ten to diplomatic relations. Trade. Ivory is the real winner. The tab um could adjust my policies to help with growth, but trouble is I don't really own many territories. And eventually well the roads and stuff will start to offset that. I know, let's see what it's five hundred a turn, which is another merchantman per turn ish. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that. Yep, yeah, research is done, text is done, done, everything's done. Let's hit and turn. Aha! In which case, then I will sail up to interfere with them. I <laughs> oh, see the French Navy already churning out ships. I might need to start recruiting another um, small fleet from Portsmouth, which I don't really want to do because I'd rather save up for big ships, but. At this point, no one has a big, no one has a um, major harbour or major dockyard, so it's probably not the worst thing in the world to do. There's the Batavian Republic, who I'm also at war with, and if they sell near that French fleet, I am not going to get into a fight. No, nope, because they could well reinforce each other. So Spanish ships have joined up with a big fleet and sat on a trade node. Good. So I can't get to Portsmouth. So instead, let's get to Bristol. You can hear recycling going on outside. So, merchantmen, what's my best resource at the minute? Tobacco, tobacco, furs and cotton. Tobacco, furs and cotton. Uh, cotton's the most valuable, so let's start filling up some of these cotton slots. Merchantmen, merchantmen. Okay, so it's got mines on the go. They're just a very quick and cheap way to get some easy income. Do you want to get a barracks? Because it gets me King's German Legion Light for British Dutch flankers, which looks pretty cool. To be honest, I want to hold off the uh, 
the construction side. I want to hold off the um <sighs> the miniature side for a bit. I want to develop my income, and I probably want a trade port. I think a trade port for Ireland and a military dockyard up at Glasgow to support naval production. I'll take a fifth rate because I think that's probably the level of capability we're talking about right now. To be honest, I'll do that because right now I'm not going to be maxing out my I'm not maxing out my production here yet. There you go. Let's have them start churning out some third rates. Indiaman brigs, 32 gun frigates, Indiaman. Mm hmm. So let's bring my navy up to here. Position them ready to interfere. And I want my, yeah, I want these guys to garrison uh, Bristol because it's a major trade port. Ultimately, I want people to garrison all of my ports. To be honest, I might actually just set John Moore to garrison these unused generals at the minute. Not doing anything useful. And the men's will sit and do something useful. Okay, cool. In turn. Oh, I didn't set. I didn't. Or did, or did I set my things to recruit? But yeah, as you can see, the French are pushing out west. So even though, aha, see, if I didn't do that, they would have. Uh, if I didn't garrison the port, they would have destroyed it. But they could well be teeing up for an for an attack now, depending on what the, uh, the Batavian Republic does. If they move their fleet out of the way, I could uh, destroy that French fleet in one go. Of course, this is me we're talking about, and even though we're playing as Great Britain, I'm rubbish at naval battles, so it remains to be seen how effective I will be. Oh, why didn't the Danes get involved? I don't like where they're going, but there's nothing up there that's... Oh no! Okay, go go gadget Horatio Nelson. They're threatening my trade ships. Ottomans attack the Austrians. Definitely back the Austrians. Okay, so they are blockading me, but my immediate threat is up here. So let's go take them out. Give me a simple battle, but let's fight it, because I want to... I don't want to auto-resolve it, because they might just get away, and I want to capture as many of these ships as I can to bring them to the... Uh, make them the property of the Royal Navy. Put them into Liverpool, get them repaired, and ship them back out to the trade zones. <laughs> he looks like he's seen something he's horrendously shocked by. Um, okay, so let's get... Oh, so you're going to be over there. Okay, so I've got the weather gauge. Okay, so let's... I don't want to put, I don't want to put Nelson first because I don't want him to die. If he can die, that's a problem I have with some of these games. Like with, I think with Napoleon. Ships can yeah, they can repair themselves. Oh no, nuts. Group. Ordering your fleet into line astern ensures ease of maneuver without compromising swift fire. Your ships will follow one another, all mirroring the moves of the lead ship. <laughs> Just crescent attack. God. <laughs> okay, good. I want to make a steady. Oh, to be honest, I might want to go into the wind a sec, uh, just a tad. To be honest, what? Okay, the range for, sh for ground shot, for chain shot, sorry, is just the same. Nope, it looks like they're going to try cross my T, so I'm going to want to go that way to maintain speed. So what have they got leading up front? A leader, 74 gun ship of the line. Beautiful. 
pity for all the damage that's about to be done to it. So let's speed up time a bit. Yeah, there we go by the looks of it. I think we'll be well placed to get some good round shots onto their fleet. So what have they got? A 74 gun ship the line, an Indiaman, which will have... It's got 58 guns on it, that's not bad. So they've got something to defend themselves. A couple of frigates, a brig, and all these. These are all fat Indiamen ready for the chopping. They are fast though. So let's spread the line. Because what I want is to make sure I get my first volleys off. Should have Nelson up front, as is tradition. But you know, I'm not. I do not want to risk. <laughs> I not, do not want to risk Nelson. Although I absolutely need to rename your ship. Got the marines on board. Cool, let's get this ready to rock and roll. Firewall is on, they go first, broadside. Large spread. Keep running generally parallel. My guys, my guys furiously reload. Slab sided killers of Nelson's fleet. There you go, they've opened fire onto the dolphin, who will f might fire back, depending on if he gets a good angle. Nope. Pigeon has fired again. Couple more guns. What does that mean? Aren't they on fire? Was that? Oh, that's their broadsides. Right. Changing positions. So let's curve the fleet around a bit. They're encouraged because they're winning slightly. There we go. And that's Nelson's flagship is hitting the Indiaman. He's in. For, he's up. He's got some trouble coming because he's going to be going against the wind. He's on fire. Well, I'm not sure where the fire is. Actually, in fact, I might double double them round. Oops, sorry, pardon me about that. Just hit my filter. You're right to be concerned. You're on fire. No, actually, keep going this way. Keep the fleet moving, keep your guns pointing in the right direction. It's all wreckage floating. It is. That's cool. Hull damage, yet they're sinking. Oh no, no they're not. It's just a list from a broadside. Fire broadside right. You're not going to be in position to fire a broadside right. There you go, their fleet's dead in the water. Just keep my ships firing at will. Mast has gone down. There you go, Peugeot has still got shots coming in from a long distance. Yeah, their fleet is just stopped. Oh, come on, the white time is just right. Come on, Alida, 74 gun ship of the line. Fire! Concerned, hull damage, yep, yeah, they're gonna sink. Oh, 
I'll tell you what, this game does look beautiful with Darth Mod. Look at all the smoke being left behind. They still got some guns firing, so I'm not destroyed that many of them. Too far away for grape shot. Not grape shot. Sh uh, chain shot. Yeah, just out of range. Surrender! Surrender, your dogs! Is your concern from hull damage? To be honest, they could make it without uh, too much damage. Well, not too much damage, but, you know, being destroyed. Probably will. They'll probably go out of range before these guys reload their broadside. make very slow progress in this direction tacking against the wind but I don't really want to loop them back around here or do I no that means I'll be going directly against the wind if I try to take that way at least this way they're only partially so let's have a look and this way they're kind of they've still got some momentum and they will get into a they will eventually get into a firing position. Might be a weak firing position. But it's a firing position nonetheless. Yeah, this Indomin demon is getting cut up. So you might get into a position to uh, rake the, uh, the queen. It's lost a... What do they call that part? The bit that sticks out of the front. See, is that morale on the left? Still quite happy with themselves. I think maybe because this, this, uh, this Indian is absorbing most of the fire. Well... Don Van Utrecht is getting some shots now. Yeah, Queen's about to get some damage. I wonder if I wish I could see firing arcs from other ships. I think your ship's firing at, firing at will, still doing damage. Fire has broken out aboard one of your ships. Which one? You? Fair enough, but let's put you out, because you are our first gun ship of the line. First rate ship of the line. Fight the fire, you dogs. Can't risk to lose you guys to a magazine explosion. I think what I'd like to do is do... No, I'll be going into the wind, but I'd like to try and curve around in this direction. Aha! They are no longer on fire. Bam! Is he paying these... Cheers, buddy. See, Nelson's is taking a bit of a pummeling. 
So if I turn off fire, well, and they set to repair, will they stop? Let's keep you repairing. Taking a lot of damage. Well, they're taking a lot of damage. They're down a bunch of, uh, <laughs> down a bunch of trade ships. And he goes to fire Walton on again. He's probably going to hit Don Van Uch No, actually, they're going to go hit the uh, the Batavia. Very long range though, so it's not going to do too much damage. I'd like to sail. I know it'd be against the wind, but. Because they're going to swoop around and then get into a position to probably do that. To be honest, I'm still kind of impressed by uh, the amount of damage these trade ships are putting up with. Because you're not at risk of sinking. I think I might speed up time a little bit because right now we're at just quite a standard bit of toing and froing with the gunshots. Uh, is there no way I can do? There you go. Slightly fast forward. God, this ship's getting absolute pummeling. It's the perfect crosshairs of so many ships. There you go. A couple of dismasts. There we go, so this guy's going to start getting a bit of puff back in his sails, but it's not going to be enough. I oh, see now the, uh, the the Camden towards the rear is getting a bit of grief. You, you do some you repair as well. I know, but I don't want to zigzag you, not specifically. Might pull you slightly out actually to get you to turn on to get ready to fire this uh, the brig. Well, the brig at the seventy-four gun ship of the line, because he is going to be in a good position to fire. Yep, Cer Cerberus is looking mighty unhealthy. It's unfortunate I've yet to actually destroy or uh, make any ships around. There you go, the, the Orvo, Orvo Rissel, another Indiaman, has lost her sails. Well been, well been brought down to one mast. Oh, there we go. So the Camden's had enough and he's trying to go round. Oh no, sailing into me. Yeah, get your nose around. Go right far onto that brig at least. Camden's going to be the focus of a lot of fire. That's not my guy. <laughs> Don't talk to me about fleeing from battle. My guy's fine. Tell me, let's get this guy to go on to chain shot. Round shot. Hang on, I've scooted him around just a bit too much. There you go, this ship's now <laughs> just sailing straight into hell. Switch this guy to chain shot because he's got an excellent shot onto the masts. So the brig's now deciding to sail in sort of a defensive position. Nope, he's routing on fire. So let's take this guy who was firing chain, put him back on the round shot. Get this rear ship of the line. No, sorry, he is firing at will. Everyone's firing at will. Good. Okay, come back on yourself. 
get back into the wind like you know you want. The hmm. enemy captain has Are they trying to... Okay, sweet. But does that symbol mean that they're trying to... Oh wow, you are not doing well. You need to repair. So everyone's firing shots out of there. So you're routing, you're routing, you're in combat still. Nelson's flagship is set to be. So you're routing. Yeah, let's, let's get these ships back around on themselves. Because these guys can't go very fast because they're they've been absolutely dismasted. This one's probably going to sink. Yeah, that's <laughs> she's definitely going to sink before long. But yes. Close range shot into the brig. And all these starboard all these um poor batteries are gonna get a chance to fire into this poor unfortunate brig. So you're routing. You're still going and you've caused my formation to stop, but Surrendered. The frigate's going to get a lot of shit. A lot of sh uh, <laughs> fire from ships poured in. Enemy admiral killed. Lovely stuff. So I've got that ship at the rear. They're still in action. But let's triple speed it, because these guys have all surrendered and my ships are, ships are about to get into a nice... Uh, position to come back on themselves. So these are all captured. They need surrendering because they're sinking. They're routing. To be honest, I might detach you. Fire. Ooh, fire and explosion. There you go. Set my ship to, uh, to repair as well. Yep, so I got them on to repair, then I want them to get the hell out of dodge. While well, the rest of my fleet scoots this way to take out this last darn Indiaman. Ooh, another ship's blown up. No, you know what? You need to loop round on yourself. Provide fire onto the ship. You're not going to catch up with them. Because it will take forever. Hundred and fourteen, hundred and thirty three. No, don't like my odds. Just set this guy to conventionally attack. There we go. This brave little Indyman staying in position. As my navy is all over the shop now. Formation is pretty much shot, so just set them to. So the Shannon. Yeah, set one of the ships to chase after them. But ultimately, it's just this guy now we need to worry about. Or not worry about. But finish off. Because they think they're being tremendously clever. Let's see, my fourth race chasing. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here and then bring you guys back uh, when <laughs> when we finally finish it off. So just a sec, guys. Right here, guys. We're snaking one of my ships around a mash to get the uh, the little swine to rout. So that's a heroic victory for Admiral Nelson. And I took it back. But at least that's my the uh, the naval threat up near my trade ships dealt with, and I've gathered a few wealthy ships or useful and valuable ships for my own. 
So let's get Nelson into Liverpool next turn. And then let's deploy my merchantmen to the cotton zones. Let's set them to recruit again. Awesome. Um, but that's at the end, I think. I'm looking at time at the end of my first part. So thanks for watching, guys. We've had an interesting uh, naval battle. And we've let the ground start the groundwork for a future campaign. So my, yeah, my plan will be to... Um, I'd probably like to liberate Spain. Make them friendly. Capture all the French regions for myself. Um, we'll probably capture most of this region. Maybe liberate um, Brussels. Maybe liberate Amsterdam. Maybe liberate Hanover. But lots of the other regions I'll probably take for myself. The major factions I'll take for myself because I'll liberate a, a minor nation. Um, but the majors, they can stand up for themselves. If they let me capture them, they deserve to be captured. Ready, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I hope you'll stick around for future parts. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.